VeraCrypt is a very useful program to store any files in encrypted folders on your computer and backed up to any other system. VeraCrypt is open source. It is a program where the code has been closely inspected and audited. Today we're going to store our passwords and related data in an encrypted spreadsheet using VeraCrypt. Make sure that you download any software from the original source. Get it from anywhere else and it may have been modified or contain malware. Select the installer for your own system. VeraCrypt works on almost any desktop PC. I'm installing it on a Windows 10 system. Download the installer and then run it. The download also suggests you view a very useful tutorial. After VeraCrypt has installed, we need to create our first encrypted folder. Select the path where you want the folder to be created and give it a new name. VeraCrypt offers a wide variety of encryption methods, including options to use more than one encryption method, but we will select AES. The password you select locks and unlocks everything in your encrypted folder. It will be the master password that gives you access to all the details you have stored about your other passwords. The password you select should be memorable, but not easily guessed, or consist of a single word in any dictionary in any language. It is best to include random characters and special characters, and as long as it is possible to remember. I'm using quite a short password here as a demonstration, and VeraCrypt warns me about this. The encrypted folder has now been created and I can open it by selecting it in VeraCrypt, allocating an empty drive letter and entering my master password. When the encrypted folder is mounted like this, we can add any files to it by saving files to it, copying files into it or moving files into it. And when the encrypted folder is closed, those files are securely encrypted.
For the next stage of securely storing our passwords, we will use a spreadsheet. If you haven't got a spreadsheet program on your computer, I recommend using LibreOffice. Don't use an online program like Google Docs that will store your data in the cloud. Again, if you're going to install a program, download it from the original source. Once LibreOffice has been installed, select the option to create a spreadsheet and save it into your encrypted folder which you have opened using your password. Next, we will set up the spreadsheet ready to hold our password data. We will organize the data as one row for each password and set the column headings to identify the data we will store. Create column headings for site, email, username, password, two-factor or mobile number, date of birth, and for some sites, the date of birth can be made up. Security questions and their answers? Again, make these up. Use nothing for security questions that might be guessed by someone else or found on your social media. But be prepared to speak the answers to a help desk, so nothing rude. It can also be useful to record the date a password was set up or modified. Now you can enter your password data and save it into your encrypted folder. Save and close the spreadsheet. Use VeraCrypt to close the encrypted folder, but if you simply shut down your computer, VeraCrypt will close the folder for you. And your data is now safely encrypted. To access your secure data again, use VeraCrypt to open the folder again and then open your spreadsheet. Once encrypted, you can back up your encrypted folder to a thumb drive or to a cloud store such as G Drive, OneDrive or Dropbox. You can also synchronize the encrypted folder securely between your devices. Backing up an encrypted folder can be as simple as copying the closed encrypted folder from your computer's hard drive to your thumb drive or cloud store and then copying it back again if needed. It stays encrypted at all times. You do need to make sure that you test the round trip by copying back into a different location on your computer and checking that you can still open it with VeraCrypt. When you update files in your encrypted folder, you need to remember to repeat the backup process. It is a good idea not to simply overwrite your original backup. You could do this by renaming each backup by adding the date it was made to the file name of the encrypted folder on your backup system. 
Some cloud storage systems can be integrated with the folder that contains your encrypted folder on your computer so that the backup process is automatic. For example, if you've set up a Dropbox folder on your computer, you can keep your encrypted folder inside the Dropbox folder. You can also use rclone to automate the backup of your encrypted folder between your computer system and almost any cloud storage system. I hope that is useful. Thank you for watching.